Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we are going to be playing a team based all around Ndidi, female Ndidi and Duraladon. We've got G-Max Hatterene as a mod for our Trick Room, uh, we've got Tokol to abuse that, we've got Venusaur to benefit from the sun as well, also something else that we can Dynamax, and then we've got Persimian. Kind of always really want to be putting the Assault Vest on Persimian, but I really preferred it on the Duraladon in this sort of build. So we went for the Psychic Seed instead. We've got the Psychic Terrain, so why not? We can get the same kind of effect, but it just means that uh, Persimian can't switch in and out as freely as you kind of maybe want it to. But if we do end up Dynamaxing it, we've got Acrobatics on there, so that will double its power. We also have ways to kind of boost speed outside of just going down the Trick Room route with the team, but um, it feels like a nice team. I think it's going to be something a lot of fun to play this week on the channel. As always, later in the week, we'll have a couple more battles with this team, and I will publish the rental code for the team so you guys can try it so do keep an eye out for that as always if you do enjoy this sort of content do remember to drop a like on the video it does really help out the channel and uh, subscribe as well for more of this sort of content and other guides and pokemon content that we have um at the minute the world is crazy so i hope you're all staying safe and um not going too stir crazy being locked up in the house and things like that i'm still at work so I'm saying it from a completely different side of the coin, but um, just the main thing is that you guys are keeping yourselves safe and doing all the right things. So we've got our first opponent up. They are playing a team of Tyranitar, Excadrill, Dragapult, Togekiss, Arcanine, and Rillaboom. So pretty standard outside of the Rillaboom, which is picking up a lot of usage at the minute. Uh, it does get access to things like Fake Out. Um, you're seeing predominantly like Leech Seed on it as well. And Taunt isn't too uncommon on it. It's a pretty good Pokemon, and in a format where we kind of are starved for very good grass types, it's a decent option. Um, so, whoa, what direction are we going? I mean, if we can get a Trick Room up... Um, uh, we're in a really decent spot, honestly. Um, Excadrill can cause us some issues, for sure. Um, do we want to go down Trick Room now, or do you want to do it? Like, if we go for it initially, it's not a bad play, to be honest. I mean, we could lead Hat in DD. Go Persimian, and probably Talk. Tokol? You want Tokol? Hmm. Like, Tokol can do some stuff. I'm going to lock in with Tokol. Duraludon could be a decent option as well. Especially for the Dragapult. But if we can get a Trick Room up, I mean, Hat can deal with Dragapult pretty, pretty easily. Um, I think the inclusion on our side of the field of Duraludon might make my opponent think a little bit about leading Dragapult Togekiss, because it, it like, if they lead that into us, I would imagine the Excadrill will come out. Um, okay, they were saying Excadrill Togekiss, which is fine. Um, one of the nice options I've got on Indeedy at the minute as well is Safety Goggles. It helps us get around Sleep Powder, especially from things like Venusaur that can abuse that. Um, the World Trick Room will not... Will not max just yet, and we'll go for a follow. Follow me. Might see an earthquake. Might see a dazzling gleam. Um, might see the Excadrill. Yeah, we're gonna see helping hand earthquake. Wasting our follow me, but we don't want to risk getting the Iron Head into a hat. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's see what the damage is like here. Main thing is we get our Trick Room up, which isn't the worst. Um, I think we need to go for... Um, I mean, we could. If we help in hand Mindstorm, it might be worth not even maxing here, you know? Maxing Hat. Because we could probably just go Psychic, help in hand, and maybe... See where we get... See what we get. Because I feel like if we max here, uh, we're probably forced to go for the mine, the uh, the G Max Smite, hopeful confusion. They're not the most reliable way around this. Um, 
I guess we could get stung if we see the Togekiss switch out to T-Tar. That would be bad. But we aren't seeing that. So we are going to see something go max. It's probably going to be the Excadrill, right? But if we can get rid of the Togekiss, it makes uh, Persimian's job like so much easier when it comes in. There's a follow me. It's fine. We were targeting that anyway. We'll probably lose our hat here, I'd imagine. We'll probably see a steel spike come out. So we do get rid of the Togekiss, which is that like that's the the main thing that we wanted to do, right? Um, it's Max Quick. Okay, so we're getting a special defensive boost. And it's into NDD. Okay, so we still got the hat kicking around. Gives us some options. Special defense boost. Now it might be worth actually going for the... Hmm. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Should we bring in Persimian? I mean, then we've always got the option to bring in Torkoal. The other option would have been bring in Torkoal Eruption. I just worry about the T-Tar coming onto the field. Yeah, okay. Because if we bring in Tolkol there, then the sand will <laughs> the sand will 100% get uh, activated. Now we do proc our Psychic Seed. I'm not going to help us too much against these predominantly physical attackers. But we could potentially double in to the Excadrill here. Um, I'm probably better off going for the max flare into Excadrill and then close combat I think yeah let's do that because we'll under speed the Excadrill and like Hat's under speeding everything here so and if Hat gets through this turn it should be phenomenal if it can because the T-Tar's got to be quite scared right now uh, I think the combination of um, max flare close combat will be enough to get the Excadrill even with the special defensive boost Tito protects. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see. Can our plan work out? Yeah, come on. Close combat should be enough from this range, right? <laughs> now I'm worried. Now I'm really worried. But we still got ex uh, We still got Torkoal to come in if, it, if we don't get it, but it should. Okay, we get it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What are we worried about? And we've got our G-Max hat, so... All working out fine. So we've got the T-Tar and we've got whatever else. And we've got a full three turns to um, take advantage of our... Well, two turns to take care of our Dynamax. Ooh, okay. Right, well, let's go for the Smite into the Dragapult. And, yeah, let's just close combat. The T-Tar. Um, Dragapults can carry Protect. They kind of normally don't. Uh, so, we should be able to pick up the knockout here. And uh, we still got Trick Room up, which is the big thing for us. We know there's no threat of my opponent going for their max. Because they've already done that. And yeah, we're just going to get the G Max Smite. Just whether or not the Persimium underspeeds the T Tar, I don't think we do. I think uh, we'll probably take an attack. From it, but um, I mean, it's confused. It could hit itself with confusion right now, which would be the perfect end to this tail. Now nah, we see a rock slide. Yeah, but Hat does manage to hang on, which is pretty nice for us. We don't get flinched, and close combat more than enough to take it down. So good game to my opponent. Nice way for us to kick off today. Um, we got to see a little bit of the team so far, so a few aspects of it. Um, I still think, like, Ndidi Hat is very strong. Um, I think we saw that in the um, the Malmo re Regional over here in Europe recently. Um, but Ndidi, I feel, is so good at the minute. I feel like it's a really good Pokemon at the minute. Should we have a look at my opponent's team? Let's have a look what they're rocking. It's a beauty about doing this. So the weakness policy, Tito. Um... It's got no speed investment. It looks like it's just attack and a bit of HP and defense. 
There we go, pretty standard. Got the Excadrill running the Sash. Okay, Dolly. What's. Oh, it's Infiltrator. Dragapult, that's interesting. That is super interesting. So, Flamethrower, T Bolt, Shadow Ball, Draco Meteor. Um, so, pretty much like it's gonna be uh, a kind of a support Dragapult special based. Uh, okay, here we go, Helping Hand, Follow Me, Flamethrower, Air Slash. Interesting, no Dazzling Gleam there. And it is more Seren Grace. Then we got the Arcanine Intimidate, Heat with Snarl, Extreme Speed, Help in Hand, and then we got the Gorilla Boom. What item have you got? A Stolt Vest. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, max Speed and Attack, yeah. Uh, Wood Hammer Knock Off, High Horsepower. You see, it gets really nice coverage moves as well for a Grass type. So, um, there we go. Very good game to my opponent. Let's not waste any more time and get into our next one. So, hopefully. I didn't feel like too confident after that first turn, but um, it turned out actually all right in the end. And we still had the little old toll call in the back. Um, I don't know what it is, this format. I feel, I've always, I don't know if you guys feel the same, but I feel way more comfortable when my builds are predominantly based around Trick Room rather than anything else. Uh, we, well, we got another T-Tar Excadrill up next, so let's see if how we handle this one. Um, then the Rotom Heat, the Melotic, Hit on Top, and the Togekiss are the uh, remaining Pokemon. So, do we give the Duraludon a run out this time around? Still got to worry about the Excadrill for sure. Um, I mean, one of the things we could potentially do, like, I think I, like we need to do the same thing as we did in game one. Try and get rid of the the Togekiss as soon as possible, and then use Persimmon to Persimmon to kind of clean up. Um, but it's what do we want to bring in our last slot? Do we want Torkoal? Doesn't really do much against the Rotom. I think maybe in this match the Raladon might be a better pick. As our last Pokemon. Um, with the Assault Vest, we can do a bit more against the uh, the Rotom Heat. Um, and definitely the Melotic as well. So, let's see how we get on here. Got the special jersey from the, uh, the recent IC. I see there, the Ball Guy shirt. So, we're going to see Tito and Excadrill come out for my opponent. They're gonna try the um, the good old. <laughs> You've got to imagine they're gonna try and go rock slide, rock slide, to try and get the flinch. I'd imagine. But there's an air balloon on the Excadrill, so one of the things we could potentially do is just follow me, Max, and go Max Flare. Um, it's not an, a bad idea. We're not gonna get our Trick Room up, but I think we can probably manage without it. To be honest, so I'd imagine a life orb max flare will be enough to get the Excadrill as well. We'll be in a bit of hot water if they if uh, if it doesn't, but they haven't maxed, so uh, we're all right. Let's see how Hack does without its Trick Room. I wish female female indeed got Trick Room as well. Be like the ultimate support then. We just, yeah. Okay, so there's a rock slide. Rock slide one and rock slide two, yeah. Okay, let's so try those cheeky flinches. The nice thing about Dynamaxing or G-Maxing is that you can't get um, flinched. So <laughs> it's a nice option if you have a player like this where you can get around an opponent trying to, uh, to shut down potential trick room mod. We still got our follow me intact, so we're, we're not in the worst position. Um, interesting to see what comes in next. It is Rotom. Okay. Now the sun is up, so we do need to be a little bit careful. We probably need to go for that uh, and follow me again, I think. I mean, we could help in hand. I do worry about the, uh, the Rotom Max in here. It would make sense that it does. Um, 
but we don't want we don't want to uh, hat taking too much unnecessary damage here it's gonna be the t-tar that's where your weakness policy is it probably is gonna be the t-tar i'd imagine yeah okay we'll probably take a max darkness for our troubles because i think the rotom will take down our indeedy unless there's some weird speed tearing going on between the Rotom and the T-Tar and the T-Tar speeds the Rotom. Don't know. Ah, Gold Switch. Okay. Okay, well that's not ideal. But it would have been the same either way, you know, if it, if it overheats. It would have been nice if we'd taken that, but let's see. Helping Hand would have probably been the better option. Max Rockfall coming out. Okay. Let's see, take that. Can we get the Toga Kiss? I don't know if we're going to be able to, you know. Very close, though. Very, very close. And revealing a berries. Is this Citrus? Well, 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 well. Uh, we'll bring in Pissimian now. We'll get set up with our um, Psychic Seed. And we'll try... Hmm. Is there any point? I'm going to go for a G-Max Smite into the, the T-Tail. Uh, and I'm going to go for an Iron Head into the Togekiss. That should take down the Togekiss. A T Tar's max moves and not Ah, uh, they're still gonna hurt Persimian. Yeah, there's a follow me. Okay, so we do outspeed the T Tar, which is, is good information for us. If we target the Persimian here then it means we do get uh max smite off, but it's probably more likely you go after the, the hat. Okay. I feel like this next turn is quite a big one because I think the Tito has to I think the Tito really has to go max guard. So there's a part of me that wants to double into the Rotom. Problem is, is has the Rotom got um, Will O Wisp? That could be a little bit of a problem for us. Do we Draco? We Draco. We Draco, and we we knock off as well. Try and get rid of a try and get rid of a berry. There's the Max Guard. So we we called it. I mean, we get it right, so it does help us. We'll see what happens. Where's the overheat going? Yeah. Oh, the Psychic Seed just <laughs> super helpful there. Right, well, we should be able to wrap this one up now with a knockoff, get rid of whatever item it's holding. Is it Scarf? That's Specs. Wow. No! Oh, come on. That's not great for us at all. We really didn't need that. There's now another overheat takes down Persimian. Um... <sighs> I don't really want to proc a weakness policy on the T-Tar because it's just going to superpower us. This is a problem of not having protect on Persimian now because if we did have it, it would be it would be way more useful. Hmm. Where are we going? Where are we going? I feel like we lose this now. Do we try just the flash cannon? I mean, let's try the flash cannon and let's try the close combat into the T-Tar. Oh, we survive! No way! <laughs> oh, come on, Pissimian! <laughs> didn't want to risk, didn't want to risk the overheat. We get it. I was like, we. I've lost all hope. I've lost all hope, but we get it. Come on, flash cannon. 
There we go, but Duraladon can uh, come back in and save our bacon here. Okay, so we just need we just need the Draco to hit. We're fine. There's no specs boost in the minus two. We've got an assault vest. I think we're all right. So can't believe that one HP, the invisible sash. The Simeon's been great. It's the first time I've actually properly played it uh, this format, which is crazy. Um, I literally just bred it before this episode, uh, EV'd it and things. So, um. It's such a good Pokemon. It is. I kind of already knew because it's been played by a lot of good players already. A lot of good teams have been featured with it in. So, I mean, I knew it could do stuff, but uh, it is. It's still a very good Pokemon. Going for the trick. It's going to steal our Assault Vest. How dare you? Hopefully. How many Draco meters can miss? Really? Uh, let's just Dark Pulse it. And get it into range before we Draco it again. I'm hoping we can take at least two overheats. We should take another one. This Duraladon needs some goggles and needs some specs. Right, we don't we don't even need to risk the Draco. Let's just go for another Dark Pulse. What we should have done in the first place. This Draco Meteor is like a hor like and it's the same accuracy as overheat. They haven't missed one. <laughs> it's always the way. Always the way. But, you know. There we go. Pick up the win for the critical hit. Okay. I forgive you, Duraladon. What a game! What a game! Um, really nice episode today, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, as always, just a little reminder again, if you have, do drop a like on the video. I will be back later on in the week with this team. Um, and then I will I will post the, the rental code for the, the team um, when we finish up with it later in the week, which will be Thursday. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, let me know your comments down below, what your thoughts are on the team, on... Um, how you're feeling about the format right now and what you feel like is really good combinations if you're going into any tournaments, online tournaments. There are a lot of online tournaments at the minute. Uh, what you believe to be the strongest combination. I'd love to hear your thoughts and hear what you think is uh, a really good combination in this current format because we'll probably be going to season or series three of uh, series 4 very soon with updates to the GMAX Pokemon. When we do, I will do an update video on that if the rules doc does get changed. So just keep an eye out for it. And um, whatever you're doing, take care of yourselves, my friends. I uh, will wrap up here and I'll see you all for the next one. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.